Hello guys, my name is Mia Chirp, and today I'm going to be talking about, as the title says, that I'm a high school dropout. So, before we start here, I just want to make a big um, statement here that I sh I'm strongly against people dropping out, even though I dropped out myself. It's a pain in the ass to get your GED, and if you're planning on dropping out, I strongly suggest that you don't because, as I said, it's harder to get your GED than it is to get your high school diploma. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Ever since I was in elementary school, I am blue school, to be honest, I've never fitted in with um, anybody. I didn't really have any friends and I would get bullied a lot. I never had a like problem with dropping out. So what happened was when I was, in, it was my sophomore year and I was about to just turn 16 and my mom comes to me and asks me, hey, how would you like to get a job? And I was just like, hell yeah. I want a job, I want to make that money, heck yeah. We had an agreement that I would do online school, but as you know, that didn't work out. But I can tell you why it didn't work out. I'm a lazy <laughs> piece of shit, and I can't concentrate on anything to save my life. And it got to the point where I wasn't even logging into the classes that I was supposed to. It also didn't help any time I would go and seek help from the online teacher. Going to the school and go talk to the online teacher. He would always just dismiss what I was saying. So, yeah, didn't help much. So, my mom didn't want to get in trouble with the law. And she gave me an ultimatum. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It was either, you know, quit my job and go back to regular school, which, you know, is a no for me, um, or drop out and get my GED. And stubborn 16 year old Meow Chirp decided that I will drop out of high school. So, along comes the day when I go in and go to sign the papers to permanently drop myself out of high school. The principal has a talk with me and she- I thought, like, at the time, my dumbass took it as, like, she only wants me there, blah blah blah, because of the school's reputation, da 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 da. But in reality, she was trying to keep me there because she actually did care. I'm just a dumbass kid. <laughs> but I was determined. I was I was really determined to drop out. So I dropped out and that Friday I went to a thing for GED classes to sign up for GED classes. Luckily for me, my in my area they offer free GED classes. And That's so yeah, I went to those. Then they had a big thing where um, they were struggling with money and had to switch over let's to a, a different, getting um, adopted by a different uh, program. And so whenever that that would only take a, like a month. And I just decided to, to not go back for like two, three months. <laughs> so I didn't return until my boss purpose well my mom's boss purposely dialed the phone to call the place to have me sign back up so i got signed back the uh, back up without my consent my mom pretended to be me but that's okay even though that's illegal um <laughs> my mom pretended to be me and that happened about five months ago five six months ago now, let's jump to the present. I have three out of my four GED tests done. Like, the real GED tests. And I have one more to go, which is math. 
that I'm taking on Wednesday. What fun! Yippee me! So I'm gonna be taking that and we'll see how that goes. Now I'm gonna state this one last time before the video ends. Please do not drop out of high school. It's a lot more work, like I keep saying, to get your GED. Some places don't even offer free GED classes. In Pennsylvania, one test alone is $30. So if you do the math, it should round up to about 100 and something dollars uh, for all four tests. The big main tests. That is not including the gas you're going to be spending depending on where the testing center is. Um, it's not including the time you have to spend studying for the test. It's really honestly not worth it unless if you feel like it's your only option. And even then, there are there's still online school before dropping out. It's mostly adults there. You can't take your GED, at least in the United States, you can't take your GED unless if you're 18 years or older or with special permissions. That's just how life is. <laughs> it costs money. It, I'm not including the gas to get there. It's frustrating because even if you don't take the classes, you still gotta, it, you gotta learn what you gotta learn. Online school is probably not the best for everybody either. If you're getting bullied, I would suggest talking to someone about it. Not just, you know, automatically just drop out. So, yeah. It's not fun at all. GEDs are expensive. And time consuming. But if you do drop out, I do highly suggest going to GED classes and getting your GED because it's harder to get a job without a GED or a high school diploma than it is, you know, with one. That's just how life works, <laughs> I guess. Thank you for watching and um, listening to what I say and all that and for your support. I say um a lot. Um, um, um. Uh, yeah, so thank you for everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's given you at least a little bit of insight on everything. Oh, yeah. Before this ends, I gotta tell you what happens a little bit, depending on your family. Happens whenever you drop out. With my family, I was kind of, everyone was kind of ashamed of me and looked less upon me. Uh, for dropping out and not getting my high school diploma. My brother had his graduation about two, uh, over a year ago and I saw family there and I could hear underneath their breaths them comparing me to my brother and all that. Not, not a fun experience. And another thing is by the time your class graduates, you're gonna, it's, you're not gonna be there. And you're gonna wish that you were there, walking down the aisle to get your diploma. And that's something I regret to this day. Um, not being able to walk with my class. I wanted to state this stuff because, um, their school's starting back up real soon. And I, for like, a lot of kids, or it's already started back up, um, for some places. And I just wanted to say, stick in there. Honestly, stick in there because I regret it. I honestly do. That's all I have to say. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy. Goodbye.